It started in a pub. Three friends challenging each other to shave their heads at a St. Patrick's Day party to raise money for children with cancer. And the idea of St. Baldrick was born. Now every year people shave their heads to raise money for some of cancer's youngest fighters. Amy Creason is with St. Baldrick's in Winston-Salem. She's here with, Ra with Laura Crotcher, who's a captain of Finley's team. I'm going to start with you. Finley is your niece, correct? Yes. Tell me about the challenges that she's faced. Well, she started uh, in 2020. We discovered mm -hmm. that she had a brain tumor. Mm -hmm. And this is my sister's oldest daughter. And um, from the moment she found that out, life kind of changed for all of us. Mm -hmm. And um, it's just so hard because she's She's always a u uh, unique. We all say that they're unique, but she was just a special little soul. She is a special little soul, yeah. and um, she's been such a a beautiful thing to watch as she's been going through the treatments for basically the last three years of her life because she's now five. And my sister and brother-in-law have been so amazing with her, always. Um, telling her, you know, what's next. She talks about her doctors. She'll talk about, you know, I want this medication, not that one. I mean, she's become this little, um, just this little force. And I always thought, you know, in my mind, she's going to overcome this and become a tremendous doctor one day. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, it doesn't look like that's going to be the end of her story. And um, although she was, uh, had no evidence of disease for about two years, we discovered, I think in May or June, that the cancer has returned and we were given just a few months and she's still with us mm -hmm. um, still fighting the good fight and uh, we went on a family reunion in July mm -hmm. and when we came back she was telling me that her hair starting to fall out again yeah. and that's when I thought you know I really want to do something uh, I had originally shaved my head with her when she mm -hmm. was diagnosed in 2020 uh, but I just did it because she was losing her hair when I found out about St. Baldrick's, I'm like, well, I can shave my head again, but this time we can do it to make money, to make a difference, if not for Finley, for those coming behind her. It's stories like that that stop your heart, but make you want to share what you can. And that's why people do this. That's why people do this, because they want to do what they can to try to make a difference for kids. And it does make a difference. Mm -hmm. It really does. The St. Baldrick's Foundation is the largest nonprofit funder of childhood cancer in the country. Mm -hmm. um, it's a very underfunded disease, unfortunately, and it is the largest killer of our children. Uh, all diseases combined, cancer kills our children more than any other disease, and that statistic is what has to change. So our event, um, the St. Baldrick's Day in Winston-Salem has mm -hmm. been going on for 17 years. We're so fortunate and blessed to have kept it going as long as we have. We've raised over $800,000 mm -hmm. for childhood cancer research. We've shaved over a thousand heads um, and it's just a fun, fun event. We um, T tell me, how, tell me some of the mechanisms. So yeah. people want to be a part of this. They Absolutely. say, I want to do this. Yeah. You can they, shave your head, but they, they get uh, pledges for this. So they, Absolutely. they try, they, they go out talk to friends, talk to yeah. their, their business, talk to Create anybody. your own goal, so decide what you want to do. All you have to do is raise $50, so mm -hmm. that's nothing. You can raise $50 in mm -hmm. no time. You can shave your head, you can also volunteer, um, and you, you, you can, we raise a ton of money that day. That's what's most fun about the event. So the day of the event, we're gonna have a dunk booth, face painting, um, an ice cream truck, and then we're gonna have a big crowd and an MC who will like banner the crowd mm -hmm. for eyebrows and for beards and, and, and things of that nature. And the money really does matter. That's what I really love about the St. Baldrick's Foundation. You know, people have to often are asked for money for donations, mm -hmm. and this money you will see back in your community. Mm -hmm. We will see it at Brenner's Children's Hospital, and our team from Brenner's will be there shaving it, with our kids. It really does make a difference. It does. If you Please want to be a part of this, you want to maybe shave your head, you can get the donations there. Or if you say, I, I, don't, I don't think I could do that. Well, you've got something in your pocket that will help money write a check, make a donation, because that's how you make a difference. It's all happening Saturday. The 17th annual St. Baldrick's Day is at Incendiary Brewing in Winston-Salem. It's 486 North Patterson Avenue. It's right off this street. If you want more information or make a donation, go to stbaldricks.org or just be there Saturday starting at noon at Incendiary Brewing in Winston-Salem.